the Elite NSA Cyber Warfare Unit. The Tailored Access Operations Unit was formed in the late 1990s when it had a different name. It wasn't named TAO until the early 2000s. It is reportedly the largest component in the Signals Intelligence Directorate of the NSA, consisting of more than 1,000 military and civilian hackers, computer hard and software designers, as well as electrical engineers and intelligence analysts. Some of their earliest work involved intercepting CDs with pre-installed software on it, which they altered to their liking and send on their way again. This was a good way of infiltrating into companies without being seen. Now for this day and age, that's not possible anymore as systems and devices get better protected and more advanced. A document leaked by Edward Snowden, a former NSA contractor, described that the unit has software templates that it could use for targeting the most commonly used vendor system, like routers, switches, mobile devices, and firewalls. TAO is now restructured as computer network operations, and they specifically infiltrate, monitor, and gather intelligence on systems that are foreign to the United States. As earlier stated, they are an advanced persistent threat, which is a common term to describe a cyber warfare attack group which has the backing of a nation state, or from the nation itself, or have an otherwise big budget they acquired somehow to conduct some of the most sophisticated hacks a single script kitty or hacker could not simply pull off. The headquarters of the TAO is referred to as the Remote Operations Center, based in Fort Meade in Maryland. They are part of a division within the NSA that seemingly has a department for every step of the cyber kill chain, in which they specialize specifically. As seen here, the cyber kill chain is a seven-step process for exploiting and leveraging external systems. Next to this, there are several departments who develop software specifically to target these systems and develop ransom or spyware to further exploit their systems to their liking. I would like to highlight one of the departments who has an interesting role, 